Welcome to another episode of Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here at the News Forum, where all voices matter. Today, I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Colleen Collins to our program. She's the vice president of the Canada West Foundation, a think tank and advisory organization based in Calgary. Welcome to Boom and Bust. Okay, Tony, it's great to be here. I guess the first question, maybe just a general question, what sorts of things is the Canada West Foundation working on right now? Well, thanks for the question. So while we are Calgary-based, our, our focus, our emphasis, our lens is all of Western Canada. And so the issues that we're working on today are issues that are relevant to, to the West. So, for example, um, we recently supported the, the Premier's Conference, starting with the Western Premiers, then moving to the Premiers, on trade infrastructure. If you can't move it, you can't sell it. And so that's really critical. The West is very dependent on exports. And so it's important to make sure we have the trade infrastructure that works for the West. And so the Canada West Foundation has been working on this for, this is a 10 year overnight success. Where recon, having recognized the problem 10 years ago, we've been building a coalition, identifying a solution to find a way to do a much better job of planning and prioritizing uh, infrastructure. So rather than, you know, during the, during the um, 2008 recession, the, the whole notion of shovel ready projects was a great way to build, um, uh, get, some, get some money into the economy, but that's not, a, that's not the way to do it for the long term. So now it's about shovel worthy projects. And how do we identify what those are? How do we prioritize them? Well, you really need to have the critical players at the table. You need the provinces, you need the federal government, and you need the private sector because they too are either users of trade infrastructure or they contribute to building it. For so like CN, the ports. So that's been a really major emphasis of the Canada West Foundation. And we are very pleased that the premiers have taken on, picked this up and taken it on as, as their issue and are working very hard among themselves with the private sector and are reaching out to include the federal government in coming to the table to do long-term planning so that it's not uh, whatever uh, whatever is ready or whatever is politically expedient. In the end, it is politically expedient to do the right thing. Right, and right. And doing the right thing for trade infrastructure is really important for the economy of the West and, frankly, for all of Canada. That's a really good example, and uh, it, it kind of leads to my second question, which is, uh, at the outset of your description of the Canada West Foundation, you talked about uh, the West or, or regional things, but it really is national in scope, a lot of what you're dealing with, isn't it? Well, you know, it goes back, what's good for the West is good for Canada. And, you know, the Canada West Foundation, while we recognize there are always some frustrations in the West, Really, uh, you know, strong West in a, is, is good in a strong Canada. And so that's been our perspective, is we look for those so kinds of solutions that not only work for the West, but also work for Canada. Because in the end, that's the only way it's going to be successful. Uh, I mean, are, are you keeping a watchful eye on uh, political currents like, uh, uh, you know, the some, some talk by some of uh, of uh, Alberta or the West separating from Canada? Is that something that you keep an eye on? You know, the Canada West Foundation was founded 52 years ago with uh, really in a time where Western alienation was reaching a peak. There was discussion of forming one big prairie province, for example. And we've ridden the highs and lows. We, you know, the Canada West Foundation certainly led the debate on Senate reform. Um, and, you know, we've moved from that now onto just a more, a truly cooperative federalism. So, you know, I'd say at the Canada West Foundation, we're optimists. We, we wake up every morning and we say we truly believe. We believe we can have a strong Canada and we believe we want to be part of that strong Canada. And it's our job to identify ways to make it so 
to, to build that stronger Canada. And so, for example, we just released a report on uh, electricity in the West. Oh, I do want to mm -hmm. talk about that. We're going ah, to take a okay. brief uh, break. Uh, we'll get back to our guest uh, right after this break. Please stay with us.